Hello, this is your Associate Pastor, Father Michael Lampe, coming to you with another video reflection. Today being Wednesday, May 27th, it is the three-year anniversary of my ordination. And the most memorable thing for me at my ordination is um, when I was having the prayer of ordination prayed over me, and I was trying to figure out exactly which words of that prayer would make me a priest. And I couldn't figure it out because I was, you know, just kind of overwhelmed with the whole experience. But I remember as soon as the prayer finished, I'm like, I don't know which part, but I know that the prayer is done, which means I'm a priest. And from that moment to the rest of the whole mass, I was just thinking to myself, I'm a priest, 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 I'm a priest. So filled with joy, so much excitement. Um, it was such an awesome experience. And um, even after three years of priesthood, I can still think about and just get excited about the fact that I'm a priest. I can still say today with great joy and excitement, I'm a priest, I'm a priest, I'm a priest, I'm a priest, I'm a priest. Um, I love serving the people of God. I love serving all of you. I love celebrating the sacraments where God's grace is promised to all of us, where it's guaranteed. Um, my favorite two sacraments are uh, confession and um, celebrating the Mass. And here at Ascension, we do that a lot. And so um, I remember when I was first um, informed that, uh, that I would be going to Ascension. Um, I was just super happy about that. Um, I heard many great things before my arrival. Um, and... Uh, I, I also remember how God was trying to drop hints that this is where I was going to end up. Um, because I remember while I was still, um, uh, still a seminarian, um, still a deacon, preparing for uh, ordination to the priesthood, and I would be praying my rosary, and I'd be walking around the seminary. And whenever I got to the mystery of the ascension, there was just like a lot of joy and consolation and in retrospect I think God was trying to reveal to me hey that's where you're going um, but I just didn't really think of that at the time I just kind of uh, thought you know since that happened to be Ascension weekend that um, that being my first mass as a priest celebrating the Ascension that that would be um, the reason behind all of this joy, all of this consolation that would come in prayer leading up to that celebration. But in retrospect, I think he was trying to, uh, to drop some hints, let me know that I'd be coming to Ascension Parish. Um, so it's been a great and awesome and wonderful three years. I'm very pleased um, to be here and uh, I look forward to being here um, a little bit longer, thanks be to God. Um, to continue to minister to you. And looking at our readings for today, uh, in the first reading, Paul is speaking to the priests of the church of Ephesus. And just listening to what he says, it, to me, especially in the context of this being my three-year anniversary, um, it was as if he was speaking to me and reminding me of very important things about um, being a priest. Uh, and that would include taking care of the church, um, the church which Jesus Christ had won at the cost of his own blood, a reminder that there are enemies of the church, those who would try to, um, try to steal people away from the one true faith. Um, as he put it, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. Uh, and a reminder to be vigilant. And... Um, also kind of special, he specifically mentions uh, three years, three years that he was with them in Ephesus and helping them um, establish the church there, three years of laboring for the people of God and working with those priests um, in that effort. And so um, that was just kind of like um, a little, I don't know, nod to the three years that I've had here at Ascension. Um, and that he also, St. Paul goes on to commend the priests to God uh, and that he would build them up and help them, um, recognizing that they are consecrated um, to lead and assist the people of God, 
helping the people of God grow in their faith. Um, and so I certainly hope that in these past three years that I have also contributed to um, a furthering or a growth in the faith of all of you who are entrusted to my care uh, as your associate pastor. But we also have in our gospel passage today from the gospel according to John um, in chapter 17, Jesus is praying for his disciples, his priests, his, um, his 12, the apostles. Um, and he's praying that they all be one uh, and that they be guarded and protected from the evil one so that there would be unity amongst the clergy, that um, they would be protected from the snares of the devil. Um, and so Jesus is praying for his priests in our gospel passage today, recognizing how they have been consecrated um, for service, that they have been consecrated uh, for sacrifice, that they have been consecrated in the truth. And of course, the truth is Jesus Christ himself. And so as a priest, I am um, united to Jesus Christ. I um, am in persona Christi, in the person of Christ. Um, whenever I am living out that priesthood, following and performing my duties as a ministerial priest of the Catholic Church. Um, and what a great joy it has been. Um, and so I hope that it has been as enjoyable and as fruitful for you uh, as it has been for me. Um, and I continue for that joy and that fruit. I mean, I look forward to that joy and that fruit continuing um, moving forward. Um, but of course, we cannot do anything without the grace of God. And uh, God resides within our souls from the moment of our baptism, um, provided that we avoid all serious sin. And the presence of the Holy Spirit is intensified and strengthened um, in the sacrament of confirmation. Um, and so it is important for us to be aware of that, but also to call upon the Holy Spirit who dwells within us for him to lead us all the more fully, for us to be more docile to his inspirations, um, for us to receive his presence and his grace all the more. And of course, we are continuing our preparation for Pentecost. So uh, let us also continue our novena in anticipation of Pentecost and the coming of the Holy Spirit. Novena to the Holy Spirit. O Holy Spirit, O my God, I adore thee and acknowledge here in thy divine presence that I am nothing and can do nothing without thee. Come, great paraclete, thou father of the poor, thou comforter the best. Fulfill the promise of our blessed Savior, who would not leave us orphans and come into the mind and the heart of thy poor, unworthy creature as thou didst descend on the sacred day of Pentecost, on the Holy Mother of Jesus and on his first disciples. Grant that I may participate in those gifts which thou didst communicate to them so wonderfully and with so much mercy and generosity. Take from my heart whatever is not pleasing to thee and make of it a worthy dwelling place for thyself. Illumine my mind that I may see and understand the things that are for my eternal good. Inflame my heart with pure love of thee, that I may be cleansed from the dross of all inordinate attachments, and that my whole life may be hidden with Jesus in God. Strengthen my will, that I may be made conformable to thy divine will, and be guided by thy holy inspirations. Aid me, by thy grace, to practice the divine lessons of humility, poverty, obedience, and contempt of the world, which Jesus taught us in his mortal life. O rend the heavens and come down, consoling spirit, that inspired and encouraged by thee, I may faithfully comply with the duties of my state, carry my daily cross most patiently, and endeavor to accomplish the divine will with the utmost perfection. Spirit of love, spirit of purity, spirit of peace, sanctify my soul more and more. 
and give me that heavenly peace which the world cannot give. Bless our Holy Father, the Pope, bless the Church, bless our bishops, our priests, all religious orders, and all the faithful, that they may be filled with the Spirit of Christ and labor earnestly for the spread of his kingdom. O Holy Spirit, thou giver of every good and perfect gift, grant me, I beseech thee, the intentions of this novena. May thy will be done in me, and through me mayest thou be praised and glorified forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this video reflection. Um, God bless. Bye.